I know you've been asked down there both been asked about. Talk about P. Ryan's first punt and the way he came in on those two punts and just nailed it in excitement. Yeah, that, that was an excited time, especially coming out on the field. I know I was bouncing up and down when I seen him, you know, lay, lay, it, lay a nice solid hit on the unreturner. It looked like he was finna return the ball too. So, and then, uh, you know, that just speaks volume to him and how he's been working. You know, you could easily come here and just be satisfied with being a walk on, or just being somebody on the team. But for him to come in and I think the two punts he had, you know, really flipped, really flipped uh, field position, really got, you know, put the put the, um, Tennessee offense back. So, I mean, they know some pretty good looking punts. So that just speaks to speaks to how he's been working, even though he's been labeled a walk on. Talk about your goal line stand down there. Mm -hmm. You had them four plays and Diggs gets the scoop and scores. I mean, that was just something special to see. Um, you know, they're trying to uh, you know do the QB sneak and he tried to go over the top and Shane Lee punched the ball out and Diggs goes for like a hundred and something. I mean. That's just something that our defense, you know, like even though adversity comes, you know, you never want nobody to get that close to the goal line. But when it came, you know, all the players stood up and said, we can't allow this touchdown. So, I mean, that's just something special to see throughout the defense. Kyle's tackling seems to work on his form a little bit, maybe. Uh, I mean, he had a good near leg and shoulder. <laughs> I mean, you might, you might uh, criticize the wrap up, but as far as that, like near leg, near shoulder, when you can generate that power and through your hips, you'll stop a lot of people. You know, he gave gave time for the troops to rally a little bit. So, you know, it's still a good hit. Still, still a solid hit. Do you guys do any? What do, what do you do during the week? You know, because there's that possibility of uh, uh, an illegal tackle that could force uh, uh, an ejection for a game. Do you guys work weekly on any type of form tackling? Maybe not necessarily on another guy, but dummies. Is there stuff that you guys do each week, or is that stuff from the fall? Oh, uh, I mean, we do we do tackling drills. I mean, every day, Monday, Thursday, Monday through Thursday. Uh, you know, working the form, working the technique of tackling, trying to keep your eyes up and, and so you can see what you hit. You don't want to lead with your head, which is kind of what when you get targeting. You know, that's what you usually done like. I think I got targeted last year against Auburn. You know, if I had kept my eyes up, it would have been my face that hit him. So I, I wouldn't have got ejected. But since I lowered my target and my head hit the guy first, the crown of the helmet. So, you know, we work that every day, you know, trying to keep your head up. It's got to be all instinctive because I know it's never really intentional. Yeah, it's never, it's never intentional. But, you know, that's one of the beauties of practice. You keep working and working and working it. So that way, when the time comes and it's a split second decision, you know, your training has allowed you to keep your head up and make the tackle. Two final two. On the interception, you know, a lot of folks say sometimes you're in the right place at the right time. But talk about how important it is that you guys practice that if you're in the right place. Mm -hmm. You know, things are going to happen like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, I was guarding the guy pretty good. Um, you know, I had Xavier on the inside, so I knew I could play a little bit more on the outside. So when a receiver had uh, caught the ball and started juggling with it, Intentionally, I was just going to punch it to the ground, but X had made the solid hit. And when he did it, his hands kind of shot the ball up to me. So I had to, I mean, it was right there. So it was like a gift. So I had to, yeah, I had to, I had to take it. I couldn't leave that up to chance. But I mean, we worked that. I mean, that's something we work every day. Like, you know, making plays on the ball. If the ball gets juggled, you know, I need to catch it. Um, Nick P, Nick Perry, um, in our drills, when we, after we catch the ball from the coach, he throws it to us like an alert. So you got to be alert to catch the ball. So, I mean, everything that we do in the game, we work. Time for one more. We won't have you guys next week. So, what was your favorite Halloween costume growing up? Do you, do you have one of those? Favorite Halloween costume. Uh, man, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I was um, Ice T. Uh, one one year. Uh, I don't know, I had to find, probably see if I can find a picture, but I don't know. That was probably my favorite one. What, so what did that look like? Uh, I mean, it's, it's just clothes in it, isn't it? Yeah, it's just kind of, you know, the, the, the old school look, the baggy jeans, uh -huh. the kind of big t-shirt, not too many words on it, kind of plain t-shirt. And so. you would rap everywhere you Yeah, you know, a little trick-or-treat freestyle, you know, <laughs> not too much. You got one of those 
Nah, 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 <laughs> not right now. <laughs>